just when I finally get some time to relax. I was enjoying a nice vacation from Dick to uh, commissioning and managing the league. And uh, wow, it appears it's already time for season three of Satla. So let's get the premiere going. Uh, first off, there was a bit of an issue with the team owners in the league. Uh, due to this, we have to welcome Kyle Willard to the league as our new 12th man. And we'll have to say goodbye to Luke Diaz due to scheduling constraints and uh, among other things. So, uh, first thing I would say to Kyle, welcome to the league and read the rules because I'm not going to reiterate them here in a video for everyone else to listen to. So when you get in, accept the invite, take a look at all the league rules and learn because no need for us to tell you how to play. All right. Uh, so you guys may have heard some administrative stuff before I get into this. Uh, I know you're all anticipating the draft order, but we'll get to that at the end just so uh, you guys can listen to me uh, babble on here. I have approved the championship committee, as you may have heard. Uh, so you'll see the league dues have increased to $110 this year, and that is to allow a budget uh, for this championship committee that I have approved and uh, I'll get into this. Scott has been uh, appointed the chairman and his job will be to develop and procure a trophy that meets the needs of everyone and uh, hopefully is a good representation of our league. And I also appointed uh, Moan. He's going to be the liaison to the team owners so that he's going to make sure that all the team owners requests for trophies are considered and uh, followed up uh, to the chairman Scott. So congratulations to those two. I look forward to working with you throughout the season in uh, development for that team trophy that the championship team will have at the end of this year and will be passing on yearly, I suspect. So like I said, that $10 fee for the $110, uh, 10 of that is gonna be going to the budget. The other $100 will be going towards donations for the league so that the payouts will be the same, 800 in first, 300 in second, and 100 for third place, which I have gotten every single year, it seems. Hopefully we'll be improving that. All right, so this year will be something new. We're gonna be doing a live draft at Legacy's house, which we have not yet done before, so that's an exciting thing for the league going on. So the draft, as you all know, will be 829. I believe that's a Monday. Uh, at 7.30 p.m. at the Legacy's house. So be ready to go early. I plan on getting there early. I recommend everyone else gets there early. Maybe 7 o'clock is a good time. Uh, this will be BYOB. Um, however, we will be having a cookout. There will be burgers and hot dogs provided for those owners that are showing up. So bring a $5 donation for that, please. And uh, I think it'll be a good time for everybody. Um, but I do need to have payment. If I do not have your payment for league dues at the time of the draft in full, you will forfeit your first round pick and there will be no exceptions for that. I am accepting payments now up until the moment of the draft. Pay early if needed. I prefer Venmo if you have it. If not, I'll accept check, cash, or any other payment method that's recognized by the United States. Okay. Um, Bring your own draft materials, whether it's uh, paper or laptop. Um, I will recommend having a backup, though, in case uh, there are issues with the internet connection. So make sure you have a backup. We're not liable for any uh, technical issues that we may have. Uh, I will try to have a draft board set up with all the numbered picks, you know, one through whatever all the last pick is, Mr. Irrelevant, so that you can all kind of visualize, and that may help... Uh, encourage trading draft picks so that may or may not happen we'll see what you guys all uh, want to do during the draft uh, so those that won't be able to attend the legacy house uh, who won't be at the draw at the live and uh, we'll be doing this remotely I will try to set up a live stream on the Facebook chat so you can log in that way again if we have technical issues uh, we will use the Facebook chat to um, list out the picks um, but we're going to try out, have the live stream, and hopefully you guys can see everything, and it makes things a lot easier than having to type up all the picks. Um, each pick, I don't have a time limit, per se. However, um, as commissioner, I do reserve the right to check to uh, move on to the next pick 
and overlap you um, if the time between picks is excessive. So we'll, we'll play it as we go along here. Um, okay, so the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's get to it. I put everyone's name in the jar. So let's see if we can get ourselves a draft order here. Very important. I promise everyone's name is here and you'll be seeing this. So, just like last year, in here we're going to be doing starting with number 12 and we'll be going down all the way to number 1. Okay, so I will put this right here so that it is next to me. Alright. Who is number 12? Sean, you are number 12. All right, let's see who's got number 11 here. Kevin, you have number 11. Let's go with number 10 here. Team number 10 is Scott. That's younger Scott. Scott with number 10. Where's the jar? All right, number 9. Ladies and gentlemen, what we got? Kyle, you are number nine. Who is number eight? Suspense, isn't it great? Number eight. Zuck, you are number eight. Let's see who's number seven. I wonder. Huh. I'm number seven. Wonderful. Number seven. That's, uh... About the middle of the road, okay. So we're getting on the bottom half. Who has number six? We have Sam, two-time champion. Who is number five in the league? Number five will be Stud. Stud, I believe he was a second place finisher last year. So Stud, he has number five. Team number four. This year is Nick, bottom of the barrel team last year. Hopefully he can improve on that this year. What we got here? Three? What did I just say, Jode? Four? Four? I don't know. One. I'm not looking. Hold on. One, two. So Nick was number four. All right, I got three left. So here's number three. Alex. You are number three. Congratulations, right there. Who's got number two? Moan, number two. I don't know who's left, so who's got number one? Who's the number one team? Pembroke, you're number one. Okay. So, uh, I don't know if Probably some of you picked up on this by now. Notice I never said pick or draft number. Um, so here's how we're gonna do the draft order this year. You were just assigned a number. Now given that it is uh, track season, I thought it would be quite appropriate to have those numbers associated with your horse number. So I did some digging and it turns out on Friday, uh, there's a horse at Saratoga, there's a horse race at Saratoga, the last one of the day on Friday. Uh, this is a 12 horse race, which is really nice. It is going to be on the turf, five and a half furlong, so it's a sprint. Post time for this race is 6.54 p.m. Eastern time. So you can stream that race or check the results after, but the results of that race are going to become the draft order. So you can root for your horse number and lucky for all of us, it's a maiden, so it's essentially a crapshoot anyway. So I look forward to that draft or that race actually. And um, so yeah, like I said, draft order they finish is your draft order of the draft that we have this year. If there are any scratches, uh, you automatically come in last. So if you have horse number 12 and it scratches and doesn't race, you automatically have the 12th pick. If there's multiple scratches, I reserve, oh, no, let's see. If there's multiple scratches, if you have number 12, you're in last going to be in a, it's going to be in descending order or ascending order whichever way that is so if you have the 12 horse and it scratches you have 12th pick if you have 11 horse and it's also scratches you have the 11th pick so on and so forth 
if there's any other funny stuff that happens that is possible in a horse race, uh, I have final say as commissioner for the, any of that weird stuff. But otherwise, hope everyone tunes in to that irrelevant last race of the day. This year it's not going to happen because we have some uh, some very important draft orders along with tied to that. So uh, thank you for tuning in, everybody. I look forward to seeing all of you at the draft on draft day. This will be the last, or the won't be another Sotland until after the draft. So, um, all right, everyone, enjoy your week or two and start prepping. I'm going to get back to my vacay. <laughs>